Hi, Tara. Congratulations on QT8. Thank you very much. Thank you for making a documentary about one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. <laughs> I, I hear that a lot. That's awesome. <laughs> I guess my question is why? Why Quentin Tarantino? Uh, so, uh, you know, the short answer to that is I met Quentin through Richard Linklater, through my first documentary, and people said he was all heart. Quentin Tarantino is all heart, and I would hear it a lot. And I was very curious to know what that meant. So I, I, hopefully this documentary shows everybody exactly what that means. Because he's a, obviously he's a great filmmaker. Obviously he's one of the best filmmakers of our time. But th there's a lot more to him. And I, I hope this documentary reveals that. And how much access did you get to, in, in the making the process of making this documentary? Uh, so Quinn supported me in getting access to all of the interviewees, okay. uh, but he didn't have anything to do with it creatively, and he actually insisted that he not meet me until oh. the film was complete. Okay. Yeah, he he was he said yes, go ahead because he loved the Richard Linklater documentary, and then he said, "We're not going to talk till you're done." What What do you think the audience will find new about Quentin Tarantino from watching this documentary? That he's not only an amazing filmmaker, but he's an amazing man. All right. Before I let you go, I want to ask, what's your opinion about the whole China controversy with Quentin Tarantino? Ah, um... I think he took a great, very great stand on that. He has, yeah, you know, he, he's... That's something else I learned about him. He has great conviction, and he, and he has it for a reason. He loves Bruce Lee. Uh, Uma Thurman's entire being and, you know, and Kill Bill was based on that. So, um, I, I think it's... I, I think he did a great job in saying, take it or leave it.